in this video, I want to show you how you can use Doll E3 and make custom logos with text for free. If you're a logo designer, your job is in danger. OpenAI just released their new update of Doll E, and with it comes mind blowing image generation and now the ability to even add text into your images. So, right now, you can check out Doll E3 for free by heading over to bing.com slash create, click on the join and create button, and then sign in with through Microsoft, and then you'll be brought to this screen where you can see we are on the new version of Doll E3 Image Creator. This is no different than anything you've seen before. To test out Doll E3, I'll type in, I'm gonna try out a picture of an astronaut mowing the lawn in front of a lemonade stand that says lemonade. And here we have it. This run right here on the top right is really catching my eye. And as you can see, it spells the word lemonade perfectly. There's an astronaut, he's mowing the lawn <laughs> with the lemonade stand. This one too, the astronauts are mowing the lawn, another lemonade stand, it gets the text correct. Same with this one. It kind of puts it in like a cartoony style of an astronaut, but you get the idea. Dolly can now do text. And with this comes the ability to generate logos with text in it. We'll say a simple, elegant space logo for a company called Starship X, put the name somewhere inside the logo. These logos are pretty cool, but they didn't give us any text. Let's edit the prompt. We'll just say a simple, elegant space logo that says Starship X. All right, we got some logos here. This one actually looks super good. It almost got the text correct. It says starship with two eyes. If we could just replace this with an X, it'd be perfect. This logo is all right. It didn't get the text correct. This one is actually really cool. I love the design with the star pattern and the outside border here. It got the word starship correct, but it didn't add the word X. And this one's just kind of like another abstract logo. But you can see that this is a substantial improvement compared to things like Mid Journey or even Dolly 2. We'll do a local lawn care company logo that says Moe's Lawn. Get it? Like lawn mow? But here we go. We got our new logo for Moe's Lawn. This is fantastic. <laughs> I love the little guy here on a tractor, Moe's Lawn. Oh, it's perfect. I don't know what this text is up here, but you could easily put like guarantee or something up here with a little bit of editing. Local lawn care company looks like, and there's Moe's, maybe Mo right there next to his truck. This is a great logo. I don't know what's going on with the background back here, but if I were to use this one, I would just cut it out from the background and use it as it is. Moe's Lawn. This one is fantastic. Although I will say that looks like a pot leaf. Not too sure what Dolly three was thinking with this one, but yeah, he looks like your uh, local medicinal dealer. But yeah, I didn't even put like the logo kind of on a sign outside like a street sign. You can see like a truck in the background. Moe's lawn, a little American flag in the background. Looks like a bush with a happy face on it and a lawnmower. Another fantastic logo. This is a great prompt. I love the design of this one here. I think this dude here is pretty funny. He's just very happy. We'll do a logo for a chicken restaurant that says Wingmaster. Oh, no way. These are in Insane. I love like the feather wings here. That is so cool. Wingmaster. Now this, this is a logo right here. Maybe clean up some of the artifacts down here and maybe in here. But this chicken with the wings is sweet. It almost gets the text. It says Winging Master. But yeah, this one is sweet. Winning Master. Similar to the other one. I like the wings, dude. I think those are so sweet. And this one. A little bit rounder, a little bit more calmer. The wings are pretty reserved in this one. But it did get the text correct. I think there's something where it takes inspiration from the actual text and puts it into the prompt because I've noticed these all have wings in them. So let's do the same prompt here, but change the name. We'll do the golden coop and see what we get. Oh yeah, it's completely different to the other logos we made here. There are no wings to be seen in this one. This one's pretty cool, but it didn't get the text right. I like the chicken in the center and the style of the coop here. I like the colors here. I don't really know if I care for this banner right here as it kind of messed up some of the artifacts. Croc, Innerant, something like that. You could just go in there and add restaurant, maybe fix up some of the artifacts here. This one, the Gooden Coop, got the text almost correct, but I really do like the style of this one. We'll do a logo for a virtual reality startup that says Dream Dive. Oh, <laughs> yo. This one off rip is amazing. It seems that Dolly does kind of have a style when you say logo, like it really keeps this bold text here. I guess we should try adding more styles to make it a little bit different. This one is fantastic. It keeps like the dive theme. There's a VR 
VR headset in the middle of the ocean. It's kind of got like the retro theme going on here. This one, uh, not too good. And this one also is pretty all right, in my opinion. I like the colors in the middle here. I just think there's a bit too much going on. We'll try this one, a fun creative logo for a social media company called Meta. Does that remind you of a particular someone? Let's see if we can beat Lizard Man's loop logo. All right, this blows. This looks pretty cool as just like an image, but like, come on, we want logos. We'll change up the prompt just slightly and say a logo for a fun creative social media company that says Meta. I'm really thinking here that saying that says Meta actually tells the generation to include this text inside of the prompt. Okay, it's getting a little bit better. This one down here is probably the cleanest one out of the four. Once again, it kind of has that thick border style for all the logos that I'm starting to pick up on. This one's pretty cool. It's got a lot going on too. I do like the colors, but it did mess up the word Meta and it doesn't really look like a logo. It just kind of looks like an icon or something. This one's a little bit better, but there is still way too much going on. And this one is just nonsense, but I do like the colors again. It's good inspiration and a good idea, but I think this one could use a little bit of work. We'll change it up just a bit and say a logo for a space tech company that says Meta. And my theory with this one is by keeping it simple as space tech, it'll just focus on this and the word Meta. Yeah, see, these don't look that good. Like this one doesn't look that good at all. Same with this one. We'll say Horizon instead of Meta because I think that might give a better indication of where to take the generation as opposed to just the word meta. I think I was on something with that. These look a lot cleaner than the other ones. This one I especially like. It uses a really fun font for the word horizon, even gives like this back tick with the word R. This one looks like a great vector logo. And this one's also pretty sweet. It once again gets the text correct horizon. And I like this space looking logo in the center here. Kind of gives it like a sun with like a horizon on the bottom here. An elegant logo for a local spa that says Oasis Retreat. These don't look that bad. I think entering the word elegant actually helped in this case because they look a lot different from the logos we've generated before. This one down here I think is pretty all right. I don't really care for it being in a circle and I think these artifacts aren't that great. This one's not too bad. I like the logo here, but I don't know why it added like this spider looking thing here. This one's pretty sweet though. It did mess up the O a little bit, but it got the word retreat right. I think if you were to touch something like this up, it could actually be a really great logo to use. And this one's just kind of another abstract logo. Not really a fan of that one. A bold logo for a local hair salon that says Silky Strand. Going to Silky Strands to get faded up and these look pretty classy. You can definitely see the influence of the word bold here. This one is really nice. I think it's really classy, really bold. Doesn't get the word strand correct, but with a little bit of editing, you can make that happen. I think this one is a really solid logo. I do prefer this one over this one here. This one's really cool. It did add an extra L in the Silky, so these are all just quite not there, but still, I think the designs are really really cool, really sleek. Definitely more minimalist than something like Mid Journey, which in my opinion makes it more usable. I could easily see this being some type of logo more so than anything Mid Journey can produce. And then the last one, Silky Strand. This one, it did get the text correct and I do like this one a lot. I think all the lines here are super fun. It gives a nice gradient in between. A retro logo for an arcade that says Pixel Playhouse. All right, this one took major inspiration from the word pixel here. This one's pretty sweet and it barely got the text correct. This looks like a super old retro video game style logo. Pixel Play Howies. This one is actually, I think, the best out of the four that we got. Pixel Playhouse. It nails the text correctly. I love this little retro space thing going on up here and these designs down below. I think the color combination is also really cool. Pixel Playhouse also got the text correct. I don't really know what's happening on the end here. This E kind of looks messed up. We'll do a vibrant logo for an arcade that says Gamers Galaxy. It's taking its sweet time with this one. Your images are on the way. Come on. This this one on the right here is immediately catching my attention. Gamers Gaxi. So close on the text, but man, I love this logo. I think all the stuff shooting out is sweet. Kind of looks like a switch almost. This text here is so cool. This looks like an esports logo, honestly. This one I think is all right. It did get the text correct though, although this M here has a few too many humps. And this one looks like it was actually put somewhere inside an arcade. It looks like a giant neon sign. I don't know what's happening in the background here. But logo for a Mexican restaurant that says Taco Bell. And I'm specifically choosing Taco Bell because I want to see if it takes influence from the actual Taco Bell. Because if you remember in the last video I made on Dolly 3, it actually knows the Taco Bell logo and put that inside of the images we made. Oh yeah, <laughs> it, it completely got it. These look like Taco Bell logos. Honestly though, this is going to give Taco Bell some new ideas for their logo. This basically looks like the Taco Bell logo. Unfortunately, we have an extra L here for this one. It literally is the Taco Bell logo. It's got a Fiesta vibe to it. And this one just looks like the Taco
Taco Bell logo inside of a Taco Bell. So a logo for a Mexican restaurant that says Mesa Moonlight. Okay, these are pretty sweet. This one here is pretty cool. Although it completely butchered the text. I say completely, but it's so much better than what it's been before. I guess if you just took out the O and the I, it would fix it. Mesa Moonlight. There's like an extra artifact here. You can remove that. Mesa Moon, I it just forgot the I, and I don't really know if I like this one. I think the colors are cool, but like it really doesn't go with the theme of a Mexican restaurant. This one's pretty sweet, although there's a lot going on for me to consider this a logo. So I'll have to pass just because I I want to see this a logo for a burrito restaurant that says fiesta folds oh yeah these are pretty fun this one's great it kind of put like a face on the burrito it's kind of an extra f here but we'll, we'll disregard that same thing here there's an extra d it's like so close to being perfect it's almost there this one's pretty sweet though once again the text isn't great but it got folds correct almost spelt out burritos burritos there could put like restaurant burrito something like that kind of looks like it's on the side of like a window you can kind of see a guy here in like some outdoor area. Almost got Fiesta correct. I forgot a T and it tried to spell burrito here, but I think this is a pretty cool logo. Kind of reminds me of like a Lay's logo. And this one, there's a lot going on with the text here. I don't know why there's like a mountain in here for some reason. We'll try this. A logo for an esports team that says Quantum Quake. The more I keep making these, you really need to put that says because that will tell the generation to actually include this text in the generation. Once again, the text isn't perfect, but the logos and graphics themselves are really cool. This one down here is especially eye-catching. I even like that it's got like a silhouette in the background here. Quantum Quake. So close. Take out the T and you'd be perfect. Quantum Quake. It got the text right for the most part. I mean, I can't really tell what that is, but I'll just assume it's a Q. Looks like some sort of hurricane in here. And this one, it tried to spell quantum and then just forgot about the quake part. But I like this Terminator looking guy here. Looks pretty sweet. A logo for a personal fitness company that says Stamina Studios. These, once again, look pretty solid. Stamina Studios. Videos. Got the text correct. I like this dude here. If you had to just spit one out, this solid option. An extra eye there, but that's easily fixable. Got some dumbbells in the back here. I don't know what that is. Looks like a salt and pepper shaker and then a hat. Stamina Studios. This one is sweet. I love this dude in the middle here. It looks ripped. And the last one here. Barely messed up the stamina part. Got the studios correct. And even says personal fitnessy here. Fitnessy. Sounds like Hennessy. A logo for a personal fitness company that says Thrive tribe training. This is interesting. Didn't really get the text correct at all in these ones. I think what's really been helping us is only sticking to two words. Using three here kind of threw it off a lot. Like this one here doesn't look that good. Some Illuminati type. This one here put it on a phone case. Looks like an iPhone 10. It's weird because like at first I would have said like, wow, that looks so good. But the more and more I see, it's just not, it's just not it. A delicious logo for a bakery that says sugar sprinkle. I'm going to use up all my credits here. I don't even care. Dude, I'm having so much fun with this. These are so fun to make and everyone is so unique too oh let's go didn't get the text right but i do like all the graphics here around the sprinkles and the donuts and the cupcakes here this one's nice it's kind of classy clean just gotta fix the text here and this is a perfectly good logo to use this one i'm not too sure if i like this one it just says sprinkle down here i don't know something about it maybe it's the background color for me and then this last one here sugar sprinkle almost got the text correct but honestly i think i like this one more i really like the typography here with the word sugar but you can really see the kind of standardization of the styles like after even just looking at a couple of them over the last hour here you can really see like the boldness and the thickness of the logos it all kind of looks pretty uniform with the ones we've been making today let's say lush low and take out the word delicious and see if it gives us more of a bread themed logo all right these are fun how cute i love how the toast is happy in all of them i don't know where that came from maybe the word lush like it's blushing almost is maybe there's some connection there uh, lush lo. This is really good for maybe some like art you could put on like a website. I don't know about a logo though. There's a lot going on in this one. We'll do a logo for an online course company that says virtual vision. All right, these are interesting. Once again, this one didn't really give us any logos to choose from. I, maybe this was like a nice icon, but I wouldn't really consider it a logo. This one here is probably the best looking one out of all of them. But even then, like this eyeball looks scary. And there's like a book here. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. I don't know if I like this one. We'll do just a course 
course company and then we'll say web wisdom is our course company name okay so it brought in an owl this one down here is pretty cool it looks like it's trying to say empowering your digital dreams something about vezin cruise course something like that but this is pretty good kind of looks like that uh that like that travel company owl i can't think of the name but you know what i'm talking about same thing with this one here with the owl i don't really care for this one there's way too many colors going on in this powering your digital dreams in the bottom here empowering your digital dreams i wonder where that's coming from interesting looks like a like a web icon too and a light bulb and the last one here not really a particular favorite just kind of looks like a bunch of stuff mashed together we'll do a logo of a sports team that says thunder titans thunder titans kind of reminds me of those esport logos we made earlier thunder thinix close this looks like a logo for some baseball team or something oh man there's a lot in this photo looks like some bear thing wolf i don't even know it's like it's kind of human though because he's got like biceps like thunder titums thunder tit these are pretty cool. But once again, it kind of reminds me of those eSport logos we made earlier. If you're a logo designer, I would be shaking in my boots right now after seeing this video. Now that's kind of a joke. But honestly, like this technology is only going to get better. But I think the real integration is going to be logo designers using this as an aid to get ideas where they can take inspiration from generating logos like this and then applying them to their own logos. I really wouldn't use any of them for any company that I was making, but I would definitely kind of combine pieces I've seen from a couple of them and splice it together to make the logo that I actually want. Once you have a logo made, you're gonna wanna put it on a website or a business. So you can check out this video here where I go through step-by-step -step how you can make a website from scratch with AI. I hold your hand guiding you through the entire process of how you can make a website with ChatGPT and customize it to look exactly the way you want. So I'll see you over in that video.